Welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. I'm having horrible posture. I want to be all slouched over. No, sit up straight, Stephanie. All right. I'm your host, Stephanie, and I'm wearing a block shawl. It goes very good with my t-shirt. Yes. I, I Okay. Hi. <laughs> Highly distractible. It's 77 degrees here, so I knew I wasn't going to wear this very long. But straight off the bat, this is the serrated shawl by Megan Williams. It is a lovely, lovely shawl. I used Madeline Tosh Merino Light in the color Thicket. Had to think there for a second. And this is episode 24 of the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. Psst, more shawls. <laughs> so it's fitting that we should start the show with a little show and tell. So here is my serrated. Maybe it'll sit here with me. It's so airy and light and drapey. It's wonderful. Now that it's not all clustered up in yarn barfy. Um, I used, as you may recall, or if you're new, hey, welcome to the show. Um, I used a skein and probably 10 yards of a second skein. Maybe 200 yards. No, that's too much. 10 yards. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit of another skein to complete this thing. So, that's the serrated. It is a June 10th uh, wonderful Sunday. I am completely scatterbrained, but, but I've heard that my stream of consciousness is kind of endearing. So, hey, maybe you like it. I'm not apologizing. <laughs> Let's do some drawing, shall we? Um, first up, we have the Plus One Fellows membership drawing. So last time I did one of these, we were at 545 members. As of this morning, time of recording, June 10th, by the way. Did I say that already? Perhaps. Um, we are up to 659 members. Yay, hey new people, so happy you're here. <laughs> so I'm going to use my iPad and the random.org number generator and do it can go more than a hundred right yeah I'm gonna do members two through six fifty nine and say generate so this will be for a skein of uh, classic elite Montezza which is a llama wool and I would say this is a aubergine colorway it is a worsted weight yarn 50-50 llama, 50 wool. <laughs> and so that skein will go to member, I don't know if you guys can see that, number 30, which is, I've got my whole spreadsheet downloaded here, showing me everybody, member 30 is Mandy Moosey, Amanda. Amanda, drop me a PM and I'll get this in the mail to you. Um, yeah. So, next up for the 600 members, I'm just going to say generate again. And this is for a skein of lovely summer weight yarn. This is Sierra. It's 80% Pima cotton, 20% wool. Made in Peru. Has a wonderful hand. I absolutely love this yarn. I'm keeping the purple skein of it for me. I have two skeins. Um, knit on US size sevens and I hit generate and that goes to number 97 which is Miss Michaelak K Michaelak K Michaelak Shelby Shelby drop me a message over on Ravelry and with your address and I'll get this in the mail over to you Woo! so that is Two of the three. We gotta do one more for member for being over 650. Oh no, so I'm gonna say generate again. And that it will be for a skein of Cascade Yarn Sierra. I guess I'm not keeping the purple skein for me. The tags look different. That's my confusion. Yep. 80% Pima, 20% wool. So another summer weight cotton wool blend yarn. I love them. But I have yet to use them, so they must leave me. Oh, and that's to one of the new members. Can you see that? 652. J. 
much as I page down here to get to 652. That is X Bama fan Heather. Does that mean you used to like Alabama football, but now you don't? I don't know. Maybe X Bama fan. So Heather, drop me a PM, and I will get this in the mail to you. So those are the plus one member drawings. I also want to do birthday drawings. So happy birthday, June 10th to Knitting Nirvana and Mrs. Mayhem. It's their birthdays today. So if you see this and you want to drop them a PM and say happy birthday, feel free to. Um, everybody with a June birthday, you ladies and gentlemen are going in for a drawing for a skein of Louisa Harding, Kimono Angora. So I just have a single skein of this one. We, I showed the other um, Kimono Angora last week. This one is 70% uh, Angora, 25% wool, 5% nylon. 124 yards. It's a very pretty variegated skein. Very autumnal, but, but soft. So there are 48 people with June birthdays. So I am going to do another generate, generate, all right, and that is number, can you see that, number 37, number 37 with the June birthday is Blueberry Bay, yay, Blueberry Bay, this game's for you, so Amy, drop me a PM and I will get this in the mail to you, and speaking of Louisa Harding, yarns. Uh, last time, we last show, I opened a thread for two skeins of this lovely green colorway. And we had, last time, last drawing. <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. 26 people enter to win. So, oh, I'm sorry, no, 25. 25 responses. So if I do one last one, one through 25, that was really helpful, you guys. Thank you so much. I love that there is this just like, oh, here's some ideas. It was great because if I had gone and put in the yarn into advanced pattern search and looked at what other people had done, I wouldn't have, I don't know, there's something about someone recommending it that makes me feel like, oh yeah, that's totally what I should do. Oh yeah, totally. So, uh, one, th no, not one, I'm one. 2 through 25, and I say generate, ho, 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 can you see that? Number 25 gets it, Woo! Who was last person to reply? AKA Millie, who is, come on Millie, give me your name, Emily from Anchorage, Alaska, <laughs> this is for you. And Emily said, so I know you'll have a bit left over, but I really think it would be gorgeous as a pretty thing by the Yarn Harlot. That's, I believe, is a cowl, the pretty thing cowl. It's really pretty. I looked into that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a really nice lacy cowl. So thank you, Emily. PM me. I'll get these in the mail to you. Um, I was reading along through the thread during the week of what people were saying and looking at all the patterns that people were throwing out there. And I ended up casting one on. Yes, yes, look at how far I've come. I know, it's amazing. I've cast on and knit almost one row. There's my little start of the row. So, um, this is going to be the Lush Sampler Cowl. So I went with Rebecca J9's recommendation. So thank you very much, Rebecca, for um, playing along. And you have won a pattern of your choice. So drop me a PM and I will purchase you a pattern and gift it over to you. So thank you for the advice, everybody. It was a lot of fun to do and it motivated me to cast on this yarn and see what I can do with it. So let's see how it goes. I did try a cowl probably three years ago with this and it didn't get very far. But I think this sampler is going to be nice because it has some lace, it has some cables, some textures, like it looks good. So that's on the needles. You'll be seeing more of this next week. But you know what? They're in Roland's room and he's taking a nap. I was rushing 
rushing <laughs> rushing to finish my afterthought heel I'm gonna put a picture in so that they're done uh, rushing to finish the afterthought heel socks in the Lux thread through the loop yarn it was the rainbow striping yarn basically I have shown them a few times they've been on the needles for like six months I was rushing to get them done and out of the way so I could take pictures and show them to you and they're not for me they're gift socks and I finished them during his morning nap like I didn't record this morning because I wanted to finish them I kitchenered up the heel I did um, an afterthought heel on them and spiraled my decreases I made a match they're perfect they both end with the same color at the middle of the bullseye on the heel and then I brought them upstairs and he was doing something and he saw them and he wanted them and then he ended up like putting them in his mouth which is fine he does that with yarn I've let it go you know the kid crawls all over the floor and blah, blah, blah. so fine he can put yarn in his mouth and he was he needed a diaper change and I carried him into the changing and they're on his changing table that's exactly where they are yeah well they're a gift for one of his grandmothers so she won't care <laughs> that he chewed on them but um yeah, so those are finished. Those are all my needles. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. But I called this more shawls, so that's what I'm going to show you, are all the shawls that are on the needles right now, or soon to be, or off the needles. So I showed you my serrated. Um, the next thing, I know, look how fast this is, and it's been blocked. So this is the Gillis by Stephen West. I did a horrific job blocking it, which is why it's wonderful that at SSK I'm taking Karen's class on blocking lace. Like, I have a really hard time seeing where, unless it's clear points at the bottom edge of a pattern, I have a hard time seeing where to put the pins. And I'd rather use my blocking wires than pin out points. And so that's what I did through this. Let's use my blocking wires and it's just not that great. So. Um, It'll get reblocked. Yes, I'm a bandito. It'll get reblocked again afterwards, but for right now, you know, and I, I didn't cut my ends. I did weave them in before I blocked. I do know enough to do that. So that's how long it is. This is a, a gift, but it's my fifth finished shawl for 2012. Um, I used Pagewood Farms. I can't say the name of the yarn, but the color is Meadow. It's a beautiful teal because I love teal, as you know. Uh, <laughs> it, it doesn't smell like the soak I used on it. I don't know what it smells like. It smells more like the wool. I don't know. But um, great pattern. The, so the, the pattern is divided into two sections. So first there's this part up here to my pinky, and then there's this diamond border that you do at the end. The part, the first section, you repeat a couple times to do the pattern. I did not enjoy that. That was all written out and it would have been much easier for me to visualize if it had been charted. The second section was also written out, but uh, I could read my knitting a lot easier through there. So I could do that with it written without it being charted. I think what made the first section with the diagonals difficult is that there are a lot of increases hidden in there that you don't see that are like make ones at the at the edges of the sections so like within here at like where my fingers are at those points there's a lot of make ones that to me appear to randomly appear which is maybe why he had to write out every row instead of um charting it but it's really cool i love how down that center they come towards each other and it's very long and it's a it's a gift so I think she's really gonna like it she's not a shawl person not sure if she's even a scarf person but she's a teacher and she's outside a lot and this will be great she'll wear it during duty recess whatever it is those teachers do and it'll keep her neck warm so that is done can you believe that I did a shawl in like two weeks really fast at that rate it'll be no problem getting through no, no, wait, no, I don't want to fold that up and put it away. I mean, no problem <laughs> getting through my 12 shawls in 2012. So that one's going on. 
The other one that you've heard me talk about for a while is the, let me draw my chart here, Maluka. So that one is deceptively simple looking. And about the 12th repeat of this pattern, because you do the edging first, it's sunk in. And now I can do it without uh, having to look at the chart for every single row. Like I still check back, but I've got it memorized now. So I'm a little slow on the memorization. Um, I don't know, memory, not so great. Um, I don't know. So right now I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Ooh, I thought I only had 16. 18 points of this edging done. I am working on, yeah, that's the front side. Here, let me hold it like that. You can see it a little better. I am working on the 18th, 19th point that goes to 33 points, and then you pick up along the edge. And after that, I think it's stuck in it. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm liking it a lot more than I was. So this is Alicia Goes Around, Panoply, Fingering Weight, and the um, Decidious Colorway. Absolutely love this this highly variegated green, you know, the camo greens, but then the uh, Kelly or emerald green mixed in with it. It's really pretty. So that is going, finally. It's like someone kickstarted my engine, but I was actually feeling kind of guilty because I cast this on before the serrated and before the Gillis, and those are both off the needles now. So I need to focus up and work on this. So that's going along. Then, I was thinking about SSK, so you know I'm going, it's the 10th, I'm going the 27th, it's 17 days away, that's a little over two weeks. I have to get myself organized and think about my vacation knitting, because for me, it'll be five days away from my boys, I haven't done, like, I haven't gone off to do a knitting retreat, girls weekend getaway type of thing for probably, before I was pregnant, so probably close to two years. It's been a while. So, I am pumped to go. Let me just tell you, I'm not big on, on over on the boards. I haven't been discussing it a lot, but I am. I am. I'm just quiet about it. <laughs> and slightly nervous about leaving Roland for the first time and for that many days. So, if you're going to be at SSK, just remind me, he's fine. He's fine. He's with his father. He's with your mother. <laughs> I need to think about vacation knitting and what I'm going to bring. And that reminds me, for this week's pause, I'm going to go off for a second. For this week's prize drawing, uh, we, I'm going to give up this skein because the stash is growing and it really still shouldn't be. The skein of Madeline Tosh, Tosh Merino Light in the color Lichen. It is a beautiful emerald, no, not emerald, deep, deep, deep green um, with flecks of purple throughout it, like a violet purple, and then maybe it's over dyed black. I don't know how to, how to dye yarn, but that's what it looks like to me. Like, it's very pretty. It's also very hot here. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm warm. Let's have a sip. Um, so, to win this skein, a beautiful yarn, 400 yards, 420 yards, same yarn that I used to make my serrated. You too could make a serrated with this yarn. It'd be really pretty because the purple is is like 10% of the color. So there would just be these little flecks throughout. Anyways, um, I'll open a thread. Leave a comment about what you knit when you go on vacation. So, or if you prefer, just tell me what I should knit when I'm on vacation, if that's easy. <laughs> Maybe you never go on vacation. I don't know. Leave a comment telling me about vacation knitting. What what I should pack. Give me some advice. It's so close. Holy cow. Okay, so thinking about vacation knitting, I cast on another shawl. Well, the Maluka is going to be, it's too much thinking. I need something that I can just go back and forth with. I finished the Afterthought heel socks. I'll bring, more than likely, bring a pair of rib socks with me just for like, you know, you don't have, it's small, portable, don't have to think. Hands can just go round and round and round. I cast on a shawl with my Hiawassee Creek, what's she call it? Sassafras sock in the farmer's market colorway. Excuse me, sorry. Um, the skin came, and I really liked it. It's mainly purple with reds and bright yellow. 
like I would think of as goldenrod yellow and red delicious red and I don't know what the purple is but I really liked it right and so I thought I I looked through my queue found a pattern I liked which was the I wrote it down 22.5 degrees by Martina Bim free pattern over on Ravelry read through it before I cast it on it's a lot of stock in it I thought that you know stocking it with the spine down the middle with a nice pretty scalloped edge I thought that the that would be good for the variegation in the yarn this is what I have so I'm a little concerned I really don't like the way this looks at all I can't win I think the problem you have to tell me what you think I think the problem is that the yellow is a different tone a different saturation a different light value I don't know what the right correct color term is for it but your eye is drawn to the yellow and that's what you what I see when I look at this I just see blobs of yellow and the colors are not blending together nicely to my eye so I'm not a fan of this um, we were watching Game of Thrones the other night and which is a, a very good series I'm, I'm really liking it <laughs> we have a friend that comes over and watches it with us and we have dessert and tea and I knit and it's like this whole big event and we keep doing it then we have two discs to go on season one and then what are we gonna watch we're gonna find something else because it's too fun to be like oh it's Game of Thrones night and she and I are both reading the books and we're out both on uh, Feast for Crows, the fourth book. I'm halfway, she's like three quarters of the way through it. And so we're both loving discussing that. And Steve says we're like two chickens <laughs> because we can watch very little of the show without being like, oh my God, did you see that? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> but, but, but that's not what I thought he looked like. Oh my God, that's the airy. So I heard a noise. I think it's a cat. Anyway, so I was working on this while we were watching that. And so I got this far and I put it down at the end of the night and just said, ooh. And so I don't think I'm going to continue. I like the pattern. The pattern's great. I really like the way she has this edge, this bottom straight edge increasing. She does a very different than the tab cast on that a lot of shawls do. She doesn't do that. And I like the way this feels against my hand. Um, I'm sure it'll look really nice when it's blocked, but I'm not wild about this yarn. And at first I thought, oh, I will, I could just knit it and give it as a gift. I don't have to love it. Someone else will love it. I don't know anyone that would love this. I don't know anyone that I would even feel comfortable giving this to. Would you want to receive this? So, uh, leave a comment. Give me your opinion. Tell me if I should frog it or keep going. I'm thinking frog it. I haven't put, I've put two up three hours, two hours into it. I can frog it and cast on with another variegated yarn that's more tonal, that's more all even the same colors. So that's uh, 22 and a half degrees. Help! <laughs> and then finally, a um, couple of things. I want to say thank you so much to Mama Must Have Yarn. She gifted me the color affection pattern. I think that, I know that a lot of people are knitting it. I think there are a couple knit alongs going out that along going on out there right now. It's a beautiful pattern, it uses three yarns. The knit one, heart two girls are doing it. Ladies are doing it, girls, ladies, I don't know. I had a coworker get really insulted at being called a girl. It was by a guy that was much younger than her, so that might have been why, but it made me very cognizant of the fact that I call women girls sometimes. So, ladies, knit one heart two ladies are knitting it. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's percolating back there. I've got a lot of cloudy hand paints, which is perfect for shawls. And last year at about this time, I cast on for the Stephen West Earth Sky, Earth, whatever that one is, Earth and Sky, I think that shawl and I bought enough yarn to make two of them so three sets of colors because I couldn't decide between the two I knit the earth and sky for myself with the like earthy tones and then I have the pink or it's like a fuchsia a charcoal and a silver they look really pretty together because they all have similar tones in them I have those waiting so they could be the color affection but I don't know 
I still have to percolate on it some more. I think looking at the, or listening to people talk about it, it's a big undertaking, and I'm not sure I want to do that much shawl knitting on one thing. Because the earth and sky was a slog, and I didn't really enjoy knitting that. But it is the time of year for shawl knit along, so I don't know if you know, but Kristen Kapoor, I believe, is doing a summer solstice shawl. Um, yeah. Oh, no. She's not doing summer solstice. Wendy Johnson is doing the summer solstice. So her shawl knit along starts on June 30th, I believe. Nope. Man, Stephanie. 620. 620. I already bought the pattern. <laughs> so I'm signed up. I'm in it to win it on that one. Probably won't be knitting that at SSK, but then again, if everyone else is and it's all the rage, maybe I will. Um, but Kristen Kapoor is also doing a summer shawl knit along right now. I just didn't write it down, but it's in my queue. 